today I'm going to share my winter morning skincare routine. Today's video is sponsored by Meditur, which I will talk a little bit later into the video. I literally just roll out of bed, fresh face, and we're going to get ready. Good morning. Today I'm going to share my winter morning skincare routine. I can happily say that this is the first winter my skin is not dehydrated and red because I made a few small changes in my routine that helped a lot. First off, every morning I wash my face in the shower. Every other day I use a cleanser in the morning, depending if I used a lot of products the night before or if I feel my skin got dirty. It's important to find a very gentle cleanser. I love this one from Dr. Barber Sturm, but I have been switching it up a little. During the winter, it is so important to really not use hot water on your face. This is only going to dehydrate the skin. So make sure your shower is not too warm. If you really need a hot shower, then make sure your face is not in it. Then I add some spring water. I shared this tip in my last skincare routine video and it changed my skin completely. It is so important to use a toner or a natural water before you apply any hyaluronic serum. This way the serum can be captured in the moisture into the skin. If you skip the hydration part before the hyaluronic serum, it will not do anything. Anyway, I applied on my wet face and the hyaluronic serum followed by this vitamin C serum. Vitamin C is super important for any redness, any dark spots, especially in the summer, my dark spots are very visible. But now I'm using the vitamin C, it actually helped a lot. Then the most important step of a winter skincare routine in particular is using a good moisturizer. Using a good winter moisturizer is key to locking in your skin natural moisture which gives you a smooth and glowy skin. And that's why I love using Metature PSL Repair Moisturizer. First of all, I love the packaging. You press on top and the moisturizer comes out. I feel it's much cleaner and a more hygienic way to get your cream because there's no outside bacteria piling up. This specific moisturizer has been formulated with exclusive PSL technology to repair skin and the skin overall barrier function and enhance moisture balance. While the moisturizer nourishes the skin, it helps fight skin sensitivity and irritation. My skin is naturally very dry, so having a rich moisturizer is honestly key for me. This moisturizer contains also macadamia oil, vitamin E, an aloe vera extract. It helps strengthen, hydrates deeply and calms down my skin whenever it gets red. It's suitable for all skincare types, so whether you have sensitive skin, dry skin or oily, it works. It is super smooth and doesn't feel greasy at all. I can even put it on before applying any foundation. I will link the PSL moisturizer down below and you can head over to the Meditur website Last step for skincare is of course sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen even when I'm planning not to be outside for a long time. I recently started using this one from Summer Fridays and it's my favorite so far. My dermatologist recommended to stay away from these three ingredients that are often in sunscreens. I can't even pronounce it so that actually shows already how probably bad they are for the skin. This Summer Friday sunscreen feels almost or is more like a serum than a thick cream and that's why I love it so much. It's also very easy to reapply throughout the day whenever the sun is out. For lip balm, my all-time favorite is also Summer Fridays. Not only is it a clear lip butter, it gives such a beautiful natural shimmer and also has a function of lip gloss. Then I will apply a very small amount of foundation. I just want to cover the spots, but I still want this to be natural and a little see-through. I add a little bit of the Giorgio Armani concealer and I tap it with my finger. 
It makes a huge difference tapping it with my finger rather than using a big sponge. I feel it just covers so much better. For translucent powder, I use this one from Laura Mercier, just underneath my eyes, around the nose and on my forehead. For a light bronzer, I used this one from Benefit. <laughs> I almost finished it because that's how much I love it and I've actually used it. Then I add a little bit of blush from Beauty Counter, I believe. It is very pigmented, so I see a lot of red cheek, which always gives such a healthy look. And last but not least, I also add some highlighter from Ilya. I love Ilya, it's a clean beauty brand and their products have such an amazing smooth texture. And this is my morning skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something in today's video and hope you learned a little bit more about why I use certain products right now. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below.